Hey, what's up, guys? It's Sid Spawn here, back with episode 8 of my Let's Play Roman Spectrum 2.5 Pontus campaign. Um, I'm glad to be back into it here. I've actually been sick on and off for about the last two weeks, so I may be pausing it frequently to cough or blow my nose just so I don't put all that stuff into the uh, episode. So, that's why that's happening, if you notice that. But, let's see. I ended off with the Seleucid city of Apamea besieged, and a lot of little small armies around me. Now, I could try to attack and get a field battle, but more likely, each of them would just run away, and i just, I guess I've wasted my time besieging this. So, uh, I don't know, though. I really don't want to deal with those elephants inside the city. And while I'm thinking, I'm going to go ahead and activate the script here. Let's see. Yep, it started. So, I have that. I have another army over here by Heraclea. And I'm actually going to go ahead and hire some mercenary archers, because for some reason I didn't bring any with me. So let's get some Scythian archers there. Just to deal with some of these lighter units that they have, and they have quite a few of them. Which is a good thing makes it easier for me to roll over them, but um, I ended up with my spy up here just to see what's going on. The Scythians, it looks like, are trying to take the, uh, the Bosphorus here, but it looks like most of it's still held by the free cities and the Greeks, so that might be of interest to us in the future, but for now, it's not really a big deal, not really affecting us. Um, Antioch's got a garrison, not really... There's, there's definitely some troops around here, but I'm pretty confident in that garrison's capabilities. So, without further procrastinating, I think we're ready to go ahead and get a battle. So I'm just kind of deciding what I want to do here. I do have a catapult, so I always just re-besiege the city. It's not like, I don't think I have any, yeah, I don't even have any siege equipment building here. And it's just, uh... Palisades, I wouldn't need any, so I might try to see if I can get a field battle. And if I do, great, and if not, oh well. I guess reattack the city. Awesome. I did get a field battle, which is exactly how I wanted this to happen. This will be so much easier to deal with. And all these other little armies here are pretty tiny, so it's not like I'm going to have to worry about getting swarmed from all sides. Yeah, I can just take care of these guys with cavalry and then get back onto the main battle, so... Without further ado, let's go. <coughs> Alrighty. So we've got a pretty nice battleground here, not mountainous or anything, so that's always nice. I hate it when they camp up on the mountains just for the hell of it. Get my army set up here pretty quickly. Nothing too fancy. I'll just get back with you guys once this is set up. Alright, I think I got my army how I want it here. Let's start the battle. Pretty standard deployment. Most of my army is just in a nice line here. Oh, they're actually coming from behind me. So let's go ahead and set up right here. And in the meantime, I'm going to take these two horse archer units. And... Um, I don't know. Nah, we'll wait till they get to me. Not worth the effort of going and chasing them down. But I am going to just kind of harass with these horse archers here before the main phase of the battle starts. you got to be careful because they do have those elephants. But uh, I should be able to do some damage with these guys. I'll put them on the opposite flank as those elephants. I'll send my guy, let's see, right around here. Let's run him over there. Well, we just let the rest of my army get set up. This should be a nice little distracting tactic to buy myself a couple seconds there. Maybe whittle down some of their cavalry to deal with. Some of their lighter units. But, uh, it looks like they have a decent phalanx main line here. Some light infantry. Generals, unit. Some archers. Some heavy cav and elephants. 
So, a decent army, but I don't think it's going to stand any chance against mine, really. Let's start taking out these Tarantines here. Mm, got a few kills. Seriously, you're already skirmishing? They're, like, super far away right now. Whatever. Anyways, um... Yeah, my army's getting in place. I'll have enough time. Most of their army, like, is still actually coming on the battle map. So, not a big deal. I'm gonna have my guys in loose formation here just to minimize casualties from any missiles they may have as well. well it looks like they put theirs in, but I outrange them, so it's not really a big deal. <clears throat> outrange them and have more ammo. So this really isn't a battle these Tarantines are going to do well in. Therakutai here. They're going to do even worse. Um, I don't know. They're a little more armored, so they might not die as quickly, but... My guys are upgraded in experience, so it's not really going to work well either way. Okay. Army's basically in formation. What are these? Oh. I didn't put my skirmishers where I wanted them, so let's pull them back have them on the flanks for um, well flanking maneuvers go figure yeah just get them back and then I'll put them in the place probably actually save these for their elephants now that I'm thinking about it Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take these guys out of loose formation, because they don't have any missile units nearby, and it's just going to be a liability trying to maneuver around this infantry. But sweet, they turned their back to me. Perfect time to get some shots on them. Oh, and my um, foot archers are also firing on them here, so perfect. I am going to have them foot archers switch to these uh, Prodromoid cavalry here and try to thin them out. These turn or these uh thrack tire down to twenty seven guys, so probably just charge them and get them off the field here. Just try to break them really quickly. Pretty small unit of them here. Uh, not working as well as I would have liked. I'm actually taking some casualties, but it should break. Oh, and yeah. I could probably win that if I send some other cavalry in here. I might try to lure them this way. Uh, I don't think they're falling for it. Let's just go back to skirmish and uh, fire well. I kind of gambled that they were going to break quickly, and unfortunately it didn't work, so... Whatever. Go back to loose formation. I'm kind of right up against the edge over here, so I can't really flank along this area. One thing that's kind of silly about these games is corner camping AI. Though I guess I kind of pushed him into this corner, but let's not get into that. Details, right? Who's keeping track of the details? Alright, archers. Definitely going to go to fire arrows onto these elephants here. And what am I taking all this damage from with these? Oh, wow. I must have some archers shooting my skirmishers, so I gotta... I might have to rush my cavalry in there or something. Uh, we'll just have to keep flanking here. And... God damn, that hurts. What is going on here? Is it just these guys' javelins? That unit of Threktai is not feeling good right now. Anyways, let's try to get some javelins out on these elephants. We've got to be ready to support them because they have the rest of the cavalry over there as well. In the meantime, they're advancing their pike line my way, but I still have a few seconds before I have to worry about that. Here come their elephants. Let's see what we can do against them. Oh, already running amok. Perfect. Oh yeah, attack the cavalry. Come on. Come on, you know you want to. Attack that cavalry. 
I'm not even going to worry about those guys at this point. If I need to move out of their way, fine, but otherwise, they're done. Oh, they're still in skirmish mode. Okay, stay away. Alrighty, so... I'm going to go into tight formation and try to get a strike on these archers back here. In the meantime, my archers are going to switch targets to their light infantry and go off fire arrows because I want to retain my accuracy. Let's try to take these guys down here. I'm also going to fling, swing these guys around and try to get some javelins in their flank. Do the same thing with my... Uh, Thrakatai on this side. And so far, these elephants have not charged into me as of yet. Keyword yet. Holy crap, this unit of Thrakatai just got thrashed. Don't know completely what happened there, but I'm guessing just lots of javelins. Not pretty though. Oh, gotta move this cavalry. Let's tie these guys down. Oh, come on, really? Really? Yes, because clearly that was your best tactical move there. Charge straight into those spears. Uh, good job. Uh, Alright, let's see if we can't just swarm these Levy Pikemen out of here. At least a small group right there. I'm not going to charge with that big group. That'd be stupid. But I will sit up here and try to get some pot shots on these guys. Okay, whatever. Just get over here. Ignore them for the moment. It's only a few guys. And these guys really need to go away like right now. Thank you. I wanted to use these stupid skirmishers to f do some work, but... Oh, well, let's just go after these elephants here. And we'll start bringing my heavy cavalry around this way, hopefully without getting those elephants involved. I really don't want to say hi to them. I'd really like to take them out, so I don't have to worry about them crashing into me, because their threat to the enemy is pretty much over. This is a pretty simple battle here. Minus this unit here, my casualties weren't all that bad. We'll just add them into the... F Ooh, okay. Where are you going? Go away. You can go away now. You can definitely go away now. Alright, archers, switch targets back to those elephants. I just want to start killing them. Whoa, hello. These losers think they're cute, leaving their infantry back here instead of attacking my line. Well, most of these elephants are dead now. The I'm gonna let my catapult take a pot general. shot at the last one. Now he flees the field like a coward. Awesome, there went their general. The enemy general is dead! His men know their doom approaches! Alright. Uh, yep. Fire archers got it. Fire arrows, so to speak. Take these guys off fire. Well, I don't want to take any friendly fire at this pursuit pursuit stage of the battle here and we'll get ready for a hammer and anvil on these guys it should go pretty quickly the morale should be pretty crappy at this point even though my guys are tired <coughs> alrighty let them get set up 
any second now. Here we go. And let's charge. Get a close up for you. Always fun. And that did the trick. The enemy's hearts are full of fear, and now they flee. Let them chase those guys down. Try to get these here while I still can. Sometimes you gotta move your guys around manually if you want to really chase these guys down in any decent time frame. The pathfinding for chasing down routing units is not the best. Oh yeah, and their little reinforcements are coming in at this point in the battle. So take all of them but this guy and go chase this unit down. And they should have an oh yeah, these guys are right here. They just got some slingers here. I don't even know what they're doing. They're not even really shooting at me. But I noticed. But they're gonna get shot at and then chased down, so they're pretty much screwed. But my general gets some action as well. He hasn't done anything at all. He's blown his horn once and that's all he's done. He's kind of a slacker today. I am actually gonna Ah, uh, okay, whatever. And now they flee. Well, I'll get back to you with the results screen here. It's just clean up at this point and not a whole lot of it, so see you guys in a second. Alrighty, I think this is the last guy right here. So we should be getting the results screen any second now. As <laughs> soon as we ponderously charge this guy. Okay, seriously? Let's get your asses up here and kill the guy. Thought you guys were professionals. You're my companion, Calvary. Come on. This is a victory fit for the gods. A day of triumph to mark with a song or two. There we go. Alrighty, clear victory. Uh, I took about 350 losses, but got myself a new city. Easily can retrain. It's way behind the Celsius. Or behind the Celsius city was way behind my lines at this point. Cut off from the rest of their empire, so. I'm not really worried about retaliation unless it spawns them an emergency levy, which would be kind of ridiculous. <coughs> I wouldn't be overly surprised, but it would be pretty ridiculous at this point. Um, yeah, I did pretty good kills. You guys can pause and look at that if you want. But, uh, let's go back to the strategic map. Alrighty. And the city's not technically ours yet, but now it is. And I'm thinking about enslaving it just because I don't want to have to leave a giant garrison there. And I'm not really worried about the money I'll get out of it. I mean, I could get 8000 out of it, but I don't want to bring it down to nothing. It's annoying enough getting them to the population they're at. So... And it's losing population here, so I don't have to worry too much about it. Like, I don't think it has the population growth buildings. So there's no need for me to depopulate it all the way. But uh, this will just make it a little more manageable. I'll stop rambling and just do it. I was kind of giving it time to load so it didn't crash on me. I find that this game is pretty stable, but from Total War in general, is just kind of prone to crashes. Especially near the end of battles and when you're taking cities. Alright, it's public order is pretty crappy, but uh, let's build it, uh, start getting a temple complex here going, small shrine to Ares. And so Tala grew after uh, I took those slaves, so next turn we will definitely build the governor's palace here. Let me see if there's any to build this anywhere else, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, Trapezus is ready to grow. And it's, poor, it's got prior claim pretty strong so uh next turn assuming I have enough money I'm gonna build this here and then Satala will wait a turn it's a lot lower population so it shouldn't be a big deal Squalor's gonna start going up really quickly and that's not gonna be fun so but I think everywhere is building so I'm gonna have some money left over here and let's see. 
If Heracles here can fight night battles, I may try to take on one of those armies and thin out their troops. I'd rather not fight them both at once, but um, I could definitely go for one of them. Okay, he is a night fighter. I have a general here. I can't see his stats, but he has no command stars. So I'm going to go on the assumption that he's not a night fighter and he won't be able to help out this captain here. Now, this is a pretty light army, and I only have one unit of archers. Some more would have been useful, but I was kind of planning on a siege battle, so I didn't bring many. But um, just in case there's a crash, I'm going to go ahead and make a quick save. And I think we'll go ahead and try to fit two battles in this episode. Switch to night fight. Okay. Now it looks like for some reason even though this guy has uh, one command star, he's somehow a night fighter. Which I was under the impression that they were supposed to be a pretty decent commander to have that. But apparently not. So question is, do I feel lucky, I guess? He's actually got quite a few good troops here in the second army. Three Agimophalangites, a couple of Hoplites of Pergamum, Virgin Heavy Cavalry, and some Ballistas. And this guy, pretty good army as well, so I think I'm actually going to wimp out on this one just because I don't feel like retraining both armies at once now if one of those armies wants to attack me I'll gladly take them on but I'm gonna have to retrain this army already I'd rather not keep myself defenseless speaking of which let's see if we can't just clean some of these guys up here leave that behind no need for it and we're just gonna auto battle that no need to fight it be a waste of time. Alrighty. And I guess I'll go ahead and get a garrison started up here. Probably build it elsewhere. So I can make it of what I really want it to have. Cheaper units, namely. Though... These guys are pretty decent garrison troops. They're cheap. And have decent unit sizes. These guys are bigger, so they're a little better, but they're also more expensive. See, so yeah, we'll just make like two of those. Two Scythian archers. And do I have a general for them anywhere? I need a governor. I have an extra one here in Trapezus. Let's see if there's anyone, anyone else. Oh, it looks like it's going to be him. Alrighty. And just so he's not stuck there defenseless, we will send a few troops to kind of camp out there with him until he can move again. Just since we have some rebels in the area, I'd rather not lose a general stupidly. Um, check my agents. Alright. A spy that was over by Apomea. Let's check out what's going on in the, uh, in the region here. Make sure the Ptolemies aren't making any moves or anything. Okay, they've actually got quite a few troops over here. <coughs> and we'll scout out Pergamon's lands a little bit too. But, at a glance it's looking kind of quiet. We will set up a tower over here. I don't know how much good it's going to do with all this. All these uh, little mountains in the area, but... It's better than nothing. Yeah, it's not too bad. We'll be able to at least maybe see if someone's camping around the area. But, um, uh, move my diplomat and then I think we'll be good to end the turn. It looks like we're going to the Kimber here, so let's see if we can't find them. I'm surprised I don't have that city yet. 
Oh, it looks like they really haven't moved very far yet, unless they're going way over this direction, which they sometimes do. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and turn. <coughs> Excuse me. Awesome, one of those armies did indeed attack me. I am more than happy to take up the challenge one-on-one, -on -one, so let's go. And after this battle, I'll probably go ahead and end the video at the beginning of the next turn, so... Two battles should make up for the lack of any last video. <laughs> this one might be a few minutes longer than normal, but it's alright. If you guys lose attention quickly, you can always just watch it in two different sessions, I guess. Alrighty. I only have two phalanx units in this because I was preparing for a siege battle. So, be a little bit different formation than what I usually do. I'm just going to make my main line out of these Thraktai here. see, I'm actually going to have these guys just play flank protectors this battle, I think. Put these guys on the right, and my allies on the left. Let's see, how many units do these guys do I have? Sorry, give me a... yeah, I'll get with you when I have this uh, all set up, just to save time. Alrighty, everything's set up here. Start the battle, I'll explain my formation as we go. Pretty simple here. And they deployed straight ahead of me. This is kind of a forced battle, unfortunately, but we will deal with it. Now, like I said, my Threktai here are my main front line. I'm going to have them all on fire at will. I've got my skirmishers and archers right behind. Phalanx units just as flank protectors here. Scythian Royals on the left, other heavy cav on the right. I've got three reserve units of infantry back here, and my general. So, pretty simple, pretty flexible setup, really. I can cover any weak points that I have, and they align pretty easily. And I have good flanking forces on both sides, so I'm not too worried about this. Looks like they're keeping their elites in the back as reserves. That's fine with me. They have so yeah, quite a few lighter units here. A lot of Thurifori and Greek heavy peltists. So I'm actually gonna have my archers start working on them right now. And just because I really don't want to let them have all day to fire at me. We're going to run these guys up, I think, and then have them fire their javelins. <coughs> and I am going to move these out here and try to take care of these Greek Beltists. Um, do the same thing on the other side. Hopefully I don't get caught in those little troops right there. And same thing here. I'm going to have to do quite a bit of micro to keep these guys from getting caught up in some spearmen, but I really don't want to give them all day to throw crap at me. Javelins can really do serious damage as we saw in the last battle, so I'm just not going to let it happen if I can help it. But unfortunately, I do get a penalty to my cavalry and the... Uh, in the woods, but I've got pretty high quality troops here, so they should be able to grind right through it against these little light troops. If it was real heavy infantry, I'd be a little more worried, but it's not. So, okay, great. I'm pushing in on their light troops here on both sides. My main line's doing okay. Perfect. I'm going to start throwing javelins at their leads here. And let's see. 
once I clean up the white troops, I'll probably start going for some hammer and anvils here. And my general blow his horde here really quickly. So keep morale up. And let my archers work on these Agima phalangites that are turning their back to me. Get some shots in on them. And I'm just continuing to take out their light units here. Minimizing any effect they're really going to have on the battle. Now their Agimas are coming after my cavalry here, so I'm just going to kind of keep moving. You know, I'm actually going to send them here and try to get a quick charge on this flank. Start rolling that up. My threats are holding out really well here, so that's good. I think I'm actually going to put them on guard position. Hopefully none of them get stupid and turn their backs to the enemy. But uh, that should slow down my casualty rate and their uh, fatigue rate for me. Alright, we're going to set these guys up over here. Put them on skirmish and fire at will. For the moment. And let's do a quick hammer and anvil here. Alright. Didn't quite break them, but that's alright. Um, let's pull out of here. They're bringing their Agimas in. And let's just flank these guys here and start shooting the crap out of them. Do you think I'm going to go ahead and bring some Thurifora around the flanks here? And I'm going to bring these guys just to pin those Agimas so I can uh, freely attack the backs of these guys without having to worry too much. Ooh. I'm going to get a try to get a quick strike on these Thurifora since they're pretty light troops. I should be able to sneak in between these guys and get the job done right in the middle. Free some troops up. Alrighty, perfect. See what we can do. There's a lot of trees in the way, but um, these are pretty light guys. Hopefully they'll break. Oh, did they? Yes, perfect. Alright, that's one unit broken. And we're actually going to come over this way. These Thurifori are going to go right into the enemy right there. Nah, I changed my mind. We'll use my cavalry. Whoa. Didn't mean to catch that Scythian unit there. Let's see. We'll bring these guys this way and... Oh. I did not mean to catch them right there, but... Not the end of the world. We'll actually just bring these guys. They're not needed on the flank here anymore. And they're more than a match for these Agima. These Thurifoy really aren't, unfortunately, but um, I'm just going to keep them right here in defensive mode, and I should be able to get my Scythians around the back and help those Thurifoy out pretty quickly. Let's see. Charge them pretty well. I'm going to pull out and set up for another one. Alright, they're right on these Thurifori here. So, I gotta get here pretty quickly. They're gonna start losing men fast. Let's go ahead and set up right here. It looks like those other unit just gave up on me. That's perfect. And these Hoplites have seen better days, so let's finish them off. And... Let's just start shooting these guys in the rear, and then I'll charge in a second. Okay, perfect. That, that flank broken. Start rolling up this flank here. Yeah, these guys are falling pretty quickly. And the third four year holding out okay. They're taking some guys, some, uh, some losses, but let's see if we can't go ahead and break them here. We softened them up a bit. 
charge in both of these units. And these Agima are pretty good, so they're not breaking right away, but they're not going to last long. Oh, whoops, I only charged in one of these guys. Let's pull them back out. Let's get my general involved this time around. Awesome, okay, we've got this flank breaking as well. So let's keep this roll going here. Right here, my line is having trouble, so we're going to send in my elite Thrakatai to hit these guys at the same time. Let's see. These are gamers still holding out, so let's give them another charge. See if we can't just break these guys and free up some units to help with the main fight. That did the trick there. So let's set up right about here, I believe. Yeah, that'll be pretty good. That'll be good. <coughs> and get a quick charge in there. Let's see, you guys. Set up for a charge here. And you hit him in the back right there. Alright, that unit's broken. This should turn, yeah, this should turn into a chain high here pretty quickly. They shouldn't last a whole lot longer. They've only got these two you three units here in any kind of shape. Get a nice close up for you. And I think, yep, they've given up the fight. Let's just grab some nice close-ups while we have a few seconds. Got my awesome elite Thrakatai in the mix here. Cappadocians. Or, sorry, Scythian Royals. Pretty similar. Pull them back. I don't want to lose too many. Which, oh, that's just one guy. They don't need to chase that. No point. Okay. I think more or less all they have here left is the... Yeah, they're all sandwiched in here. Alright, let's pull out here. Set up for one less charge, hopefully. See if we can't just get these guys to finally break. Oh, perfect. They're lining up for a better charge for me. Thank you, troops. We're actually going to aim for these phalangites here as soon as my guys get their act together. And... My general still isn't, hasn't done anything, has he? Whatever. Uh, it's, they're not going to get together. Let's just charge. They're too tired to do anything right right now. And they are getting ready to lower their spears, so I'm going to have to pull out here in a second. They're wavering, though, so I want to... I want to get them to run away. cycle out some charges here, see if we can't get them to break on us. There we go. And I think this battle's over as soon as we... Yeah. It chain routed the last three units they had left. It's perfect. Oh, wow. Those Lily Pikemen actually broke all the way through my line right there. That unit of Threkatai got destroyed. But, you know, you're always going to lose some men. The gods be praised! The enemy general is dead! His men know their doom approaches! 
All right. Well, as soon as it actually lets them route, it should go to the end battle screen, I imagine. Wait, maybe not. Let's take out these these uh, stragglers over here. And that should let these guys just actually start running away now. We'll chase them down in a minute. Oh, uh, they're pretty much all dead anyways. Time to get swarmed. This is not going to turn out well for you guys. Yep, there we go. Alright, I will see you at the results screen. Alrighty, back to the last little guy running away here. Let's see if he makes it. And he definitely didn't make it. This victory surely their work. Grab a few close-ups before the battle ends. Alrighty. So that battle went a little better than the other one. I had that one unit Thrakatai that took pretty severe casualties, but no, it didn't, it didn't recover any troops, but yeah, it's not the end of the world. That cleared out a whole free people army right there, so that city should be a lot easier to take now. Oh, alrighty. Forgot to press record for about half a second. Um... Oh, nice. A major just finished building its royal palace. Let's see, trapezes, get to that, and that's most of my money for that turn gone. And, go. Let's do a couple quick things though before I end the turn here. Move him down to Mazaka, these guys back into Amasia. And, my lord, orders! Let's see, it was him. So let's send him on his way. You can actually almost make it. So next turn I'll have a governor and a garrison ready for up a man and I can retrain this army. But I think that's more or less going to be all for this video. So thank you everyone for watching. And I will see you hopefully not too long in episode 9.